Call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rock and never wear. Booty, booty. YouTube is Desi and I'm back with another video y'all so this video is going to talk about the difference between patient care technician versus CNA which is certified nursing assistant make sure you stay tuned so you guys can know the difference between the two YouTube it is Desi and I'm back with another video y'all so in this video by the way it's a car talk in this video I'm going to talk about CNA versus um, patient care tech that's basically a PCT um, basically people wanted to know as far as for what's the difference between the two so I was able to kind of look up some information to let you know um, if you guys ever see as far as for anybody that's in the hospital and they wear one of those badges and they say like PCT or something like that that's a patient care technician whenever you go to either a nursing home or um, hospital you see CNA that certified nursing assistant so the major difference between the two is that mainly PCTs performs the same tasks as a CNA but they do a lot more um, I'm gonna start off with CNA so basically CNA is basically a certified nursing assistant um, they basically work underneath the supervision of doctors and registered nurses to support patient care um, the duties that basically CNAs will be doing will basically be checking in patients for um, their vital signs also bathing and feeding the patients making sure they help out with grooming dressing exercising and eating because again you're going to be working with a lot of elderly patients um also turning and re repositioning the patients during the bed if you guys ever look up the positions for the bed like um lithotomy position supine dorsal um those are the type of positions you want to make sure you remember as far as for the healthcare field um, you also have on there reviewing patient um, restrictions, food allergies, and prefaces because sometimes you may have to bring the food to the patient, help feeding, those type of things. Again, working with elderly, so you want to make sure you have that down pack. And also recording vital signs such as blood pressure, pulse, temperature, and respiration rate. Um, those are the items that will be limited to as far as for the CNA. Again, you're going to be working underneath the supervision of a doctor and nurse, so you don't have to do as much because they'll be coming in next for you. I'm sorry, I keep trying to look to see if my other co-workers are coming because I have to get to work. Um, we start at 8 o'clock. It's now like 7.52, so I like to make sure. It just looks awkward when they're turning the corner. They're trying to turn in for work, and I'm just literally talking to a phone. <laughs> but I'm so used to it. I don't care. All right, so the education requirements for a CNA will basically be you'll have to get your high school diploma or GED. You want to make sure that you complete a CNA training um, course or program and make sure that you pass the CNA certification exam. Now, like I say, most of the time, CNA courses can take up to four weeks. Some may take up to a couple of months. It depends which one you're trying to do, but there are many classes out there that usually is like short term for you to kind of get on with a CNA job like that. So I will definitely expand my horizon when it comes to CNA. Um, some of the courses that you may go over will definitely be anatomy and physiology, basics of nursing, nutrition, infection control, and um, just making sure you understand the importance as far as for vital signs and whatnot. Now, as far as for patient care technician, basically they work underneath the supervision of doctors and nurses as well too. The only difference when it comes to them is that you'll be trained to draw blood, assist with EKGs, also delivering medications, helping out with wound care, um, making sure that you operate dialysis equipment and collecting samples and specimens of testing. Some of the requirements to become a PCT will be a high school diploma, a PCC training program, and also a PCT certification exam. Now, it's not hard to really get added on as far as for a PCT because at the end of the day, they have certain courses as far as for that too. If you guys ever think about taking the um, NCCT test, they also have a certification test for you to take as well too for that. NCCT is basically this certification test. Again, that's where I took my medical assistant certification test at. So I would definitely look into going um, to do that. And some of the duties for a um, for a patient care technician will basically be taking blood um, making sure that you uh, operate EKG machines that's dealing with the heart flow. Also monitoring patient's diet, assisting with motion and exercises, administrating with IVs, collecting specimen for diagnostic tests with such as urine and blood samples, performing basic laboratory work, um, standard medical precautions, infections control, physical terminology, physical exams, and patient positioning, wound care and pressure source and wheelchair management. For the most part, if you're looking as far as for the pay difference, PCTs get paid slightly more here in Florida. They get paid at least $15 to $16 an hour. And as far as for CNAs, they get paid as far as for like $13 to $12 an hour. Now, it can vary depending on what part of Florida you're in or it can vary as far as for the state. But 
that's the majority of importance as far as for the two um for the most part i feel like patient care technician i really didn't realize that they do so much so i definitely feel like if that's a field you're trying to get into definitely get into it um i see a lot of those positions as far as for any hospital that i look up so like saint vincent's or mayo clinic baptist there's a lot of them that usually have that position so i would definitely check that out but now that you guys know the job duties the title and as far as for the um, amount that you get paid, definitely look into going into the field. Like I say, it's really good to start off with for first time healthcare workers. Let me go ahead and get started with work, you guys. I hope this helped you guys out and good luck on your journey. Hopefully everybody have a good one. Peace, y'all.